It's 7.30 in the morning on September 2nd, 2016. I'm Darren Griffin, and I'm preparing for the maiden voyage of the Morning Star. This is the shower, which I am attempting to use for the very first time. Mental note, make sure the water heater is turned on. You may be wondering, what does all this have to do with the maiden voyage of the Morning Star? Well, I'm aboard my RV right now, which I have called, or christened, if you will, the Morning Star. Today's September 2nd, and on the 6th, I'm leaving. I'm leaving everything that I knew behind me. I was married for 27 years and it just ended in divorce. We sold the house and rather than move into a dingy one bedroom apartment where I would just be depressed and have regrets, I elected to take the money from the house and buy the Morning Star. And I will be going to Southern Utah to start a new life, to write, to compose, to learn from the Navajos down there, to make new friends, to find old acquaintances. After Southern Utah, I'll be coming back up north, and then maybe to Illinois, maybe to Alaska. I don't know where my future will take me, but you're invited to come along. My cousin Mindy, who is my only cousin on the Griffin side, is getting sealed in the Provo Temple today at 12.30. I am very proud of her. And that is why I'm getting all gussied up. My daughter Crystal and her husband John and their, uh, their, their son Bridger, who is 12, 14, 14, 15 months. I should know that. I'm embarrassed that I don't. They are coming down from Ogden and picking up my other daughter, Kelly, and her daughter, Athens, who is a year. And they are meeting me so I can follow them because I don't know where I'm going. Okay, I have been in the car wash for a really long time. I appreciate all of the attention to detail that this automated monstrosity is giving my vehicle. Crystal and Kelly are supposed to be to my house at, um, well, five minutes from now. Might almost be done. I'm not sure. Nope, I was wrong. It's still doing more stuff. This is Kelly and her daughter, Athens. Both of them, cute as a button. And this is my grandson, Bridger, his father, John. And Crystal is in the bathroom putting her makeup on, and I'm not going to show her without her makeup because she won't appreciate it. Well, the trip to Provo was uneventful. There was no parking in the temple, so I missed the ceiling entirely, although I did get to sneak in and say congratulations. <laughs> the luncheon afterwards was fantastic, and then we got to chat a bit. And now I'm back to work, working on the Morning Star, and I've made some interesting modifications that I'll tell you about next time. 